Hey, Goose. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Wizard's Chest. It is time once again to go over my toy haul that I got from last week. I just checked the front door, and wouldn't you know it, I got uh, a couple little goodies in that I've been waiting on for quite some time. So I was glad to get those. Uh, literally had the camera set up and was about to press record, and I thought, what the hell, I'll go down and check, see if they're here, and boom, it was time. It was meant to be to make a toy haul right now. Uh, so, before I start sounding like an idiot, let me go ahead and jump into what I got. I found the entire Captain Marvel wave uh, at two separate targets, but they had them all. Uh, so this first one looks really, really good. I love the sculpt on these, I love the suit that she's wearing, I like the mohawk that she's got going on, and I think they did a pretty good likeness of capturing the actress as well. So there's, uh, let's see, there's seven figures in this wave. Uh, one of them does not include a Build-A-Figure piece, this one. And we get to make a Kree Century, which I will be pretty interested to see how it looks when it's all turned out. It seems like the arms and legs are pretty big with a small torso, so we shall see. Who knows? But uh, this wave looks really, really cool. And next up, we got Yonrog. Pretty awesome suit there. <laughs> Next we have Talos. He's got a build-a-figure leg. He's got some crazy eyes, man. I guess they don't come across too much like crazy in the figure, but on the back, man, he's got some some Ted Bundy eyes going on. All right, Nick Fury with what is the cat's name? Gus? I want to say Gus. I don't know. But, um, it's a pretty good representation of Samuel L. Jackson, I'd say. The picture looks, on the back, looks worse. If, if you're not getting a good view of it now, just wait till the end of the video. I'll show clearer pictures of these. Um, but the figure looks better than the picture, which is not usually the case, so that's interesting. Next, we have another Captain Marvel in her leather jacket, and she's holding her kitty cat. And you gotta build a figure arm in there. Pretty crazy that I found this saw in two targets. Next we got Genis Bell. Genis Bell, Genis Bell. Not too familiar with this character, but looks pretty sweet. I, I'm always a sucker for the uh, like star speckles and the kind of translucent plastic that they have on them. And for some reason, I was just super excited about this. Uh, uh, Grey Gargoyle. It just looks so cool to me. Very different. Um, got some new attachments, new hands, new feet. So pretty cool. Pretty interesting sculpt and a very sinister smile he's got going on. Alright, finally! So if you watched the toy hunting video, you know I was going back and forth on whether or not I was going to be picking up the uh, Batman, Michael Keaton Batman, or this sweet little Ghost Rider. And it was only 20 bucks. It's got all its uh, accessories. I just need to get the price tag off this before it drives me nuts. So that's detachable, obviously. Nice translucent flames everywhere. Got his little uh, chain whip, nice accessory. Need to get it all situated and everything, but it looks really good. So I'm surprised I have, uh, haven't picked it up before, but I'm definitely glad to have it now. I love this motorcycle. And there's the other accessory that goes on the back tire. Alright, next up I finally broke down and got uh, Mushu and Cricket 2. 
two of my favorite characters from Mulan. I went and saw this when I was however old I was when it came out with my grandmother and my sister. And I can now remember uh, my grandmother laughing at what I thought at the time were adult jokes, and it turns out that they were adult jokes. If you haven't watched Mulan in a while, check it out. There are some pretty uh, risque stuff that's said in that movie. <laughs> And I had to have some of these uh, mystery dragons from the new How to Train Your Dragon movie, which I didn't know was coming out, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Definitely got me pumped up with their uh, advertising for these uh, dragons. And they had tons of, uh, of new actual dragons and stuff. I think it's in my toy hunting video. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. Um... But I love the first two movies. I even watched the series that came out, so I am excited for sure. But when uh, Toys R Us, Toys R Us was still uh, was still in operation, I remember going in there and buying all of those How to Tra Train Your Dragons, uh, except for <sighs> Meat Lug. Is that his name? The big fat dragon. Uh, I just for some really reason really like that dragon. <laughs> So, but anyways, and I already actually have him in the mystery dragon. I think they're pretty cool. I'm definitely a dragon wizard guy, as you all know. All right, so this is what I got at the front door just a minute ago. These uh, Vitruvian hacks. Uh, this is from series one, and it is the Knight of Accord, Soldier of Order. And I was, I, I knew they were three and three fourths inch, but I am surprised at the detail and the face swaps that you get and all the accessories. So I'll be doing a little uh, a little review on these indefinite, probably in the next week or so, so be on the lookout for that. Also, I got Achilles. What we do in this life echoes in eternity. Because how could I not? So that looks pretty awesome as well. And uh, Star Wars came out with some new Lego sets. So we got the one where they're in the uh, escape pod. And you got C-3PO, R2-D2, and a Stormtrooper on a dewback. And that dewback just looks adorable. We're doomed. Uh, so pretty iconic scene from the movie. I'm glad that they finally made this one. Uh, I'm glad to have it. I have to, watch, uh, have to watch A New Hope and build that. And then finally, I got my Luke Skywalker from the Black Series Archive, and he looks awesome, so I can't wait to put him in my collection. Definitely worth the wait to get that face print technology, I think. All the paint applications look spot on, especially the helmet and the gun. Uh, they just did a really good job. Uh, they nailed this. Super happy to have him, and then even more excited just because I can finish out all of my bounty hunters. I got IG-88. And man, does he look good as well. Uh, compared to the other one, uh, the one that came out years ago, um, I think this one looks a little bit better with the paint application. So I guess it was worth the wait. And now I'm going to have to start taking some uh, sweet looking pictures and posting them on my Instagram with all the bounty hunters and Darth Vader walking down, giving them orders and shit, so. All right, then I picked up another Masters of the Universe classic. This is Geldor. He is an older gentleman who still looks badass. This is Geldor, an evil barbarian obsessed with immortality. So pretty cool there. Add this to my Masters collection. Go ahead and put him over there on the table. Then, for some reason, because this movie really freaked me out as a kid, it always stuck with me, even though I'm sure if I rewatched it today, it would suck. But it might not. You know what? That's a pessimistic point of view. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm going to rewatch this, and maybe it'll be good. Maybe I'll get excited again. I remember, though, it was the first movie that I'd ever seen anybody die of something that has always been a phrase before, so scared to death. Um, and then in that movie, the person who actually saw one of the white apes for the first time was scared to death. I remember they died around like the campsite or something like that. Um, 
but then that movie just got freakier and freakier when it when they went into those ruins and all those white apes started coming out everywhere i was like i mean i saw that as a kid and i was just like holy shit like this could actually happen <laughs> and i had planned on traveling the world so i thought that this might be on one of my encounters in the near future <laughs> but anyways i picked up uh the congo set for only eight dollars this is the deluxe bone crush uh crusher with arm pounding and attack jaw actions so you get a little guy and a big guy there so that's pretty cool <laughs> I like the card art. I like the goofy figures from a goofy movie in the 90s. It's just, it's fun. And then I got Karen Ross with Ultra Laser Cannon and Power Diamond. They had Monroe there, but I'll pick him up next week if he's still there. So, gotta be on the lookout for Amy and Peter Elliott. So... Pretty interesting stuff there. I went ahead and opened my um, my Hulk from Age of Ultron finally. So I can switch out the Hulk that I have with my Infinity War set. And I busted out my Mega Man as well. With his little dog who has an articulated tail. How awesome is that? <laughs> Alright, well I will be doing a top 10 pickups of 2018. These are not... Um, the big ones that I would say they're more or less some of them are big lines but they're lines that are new to me that I got into 2018 so I'll be showing you guys that stuff if you would like a sneak preview let me show you <laughs> you think I'm gonna steal your treat Walter hmm? I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it <laughs> all right so just a little taste of what is to come in the video within this week for sure there's still more than I need to set out but it gives you an idea all right everybody thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so I sure would appreciate it share with your friends who also love the hobby of collecting toys uh, other than that, everybody have an awesome week ahead of them, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye!